Hello, I'm Brian Palmer, Calibration Manager here at Ophir SpireCon. And I'm Ryan Weeks, Assistant Customer Service Manager here at Ophir SpireCon. Today we're going to show you how to use an Ophir power meter and sensor. When we need to characterize a laser, one of the first things we want to measure is the laser's output, power, and if the laser is pulsed, the laser energy. At Ophir, we offer a wide range of sensors, each type optimized for a different set of conditions, and also a wide range of meters, each offering a different level of functionality. These sensor meter combinations are completely plug and play. The identity and calibration for each sensor is stored in its smart head connector. So the information moves with the sensor and any sensor will work with any meter. When we want to measure laser power, we usually use a thermal sensor for higher powers or a photodiode sensor for lower powers. In our first demo, we're going to show a PD300 photodiode sensor connected to a Vega meter. First, we assemble the base. Screw the post into the sensor head. and place the sensor so that the center is aligned to where the expected beam will be. The meter is measuring ambient room light. The Vega has a large color screen and the color scheme can be changed for maximum contrast with laser safety goggles. We also have some other meters for standalone work or for connecting directly to your PC. All of these are plug and play with our various sensors. Okay, now we're going to demonstrate measuring a laser with one of our sensors, in this case, a thermal sensor. First of all, let's use proper safety equipment. Let's put on our laser safety eyewear. Without being able to see the beam, unless it's on, we'll have to align it by predicting where the beam should be. Now we plug the smart head into the meter and turn on the meter. As you can see, the power range is on auto. Let's adjust to the proper laser wavelength. The laser we are using is wavelength 532, so let's set the wavelength to less than 0.8. If you want to save your settings, simply press save. Next, we'll have to zero the background ambient readings, so we will press the offset button. Now we're all set to measure. We have the right wavelength and the right power range. Now turn on the laser on a low power and adjust the beam to be centered on the aperture. Please note that you should be very careful not to get the absorber surface contaminated because this will change the reading of the sensor. It is not recommended to burn something to see where your beam is since that can contaminate the absorber from the smoke. Now you can see how easy it is to start measuring your laser with an Ophir power meter and sensor right out of the box.